Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I'm Lily, captain of the cheer squad, full of energy, warmth, and a big heart for lifting others up. It really uh, resembles the human shape and it can kind of behave, walk, and interact as a human does. So how do you feel today? I feel super energized today, like I could chat with you all day long. How about you? Over the past few weeks, I've been visiting some of China's biggest trade shows and exhibitions to explore the latest in innovation and technology. Today, I am at the Global Sources Fair in Hong Kong, a major event where leading tech companies showcase their newest products. But this time, I want to focus on something special, robotics and artificial intelligence. My first stop is a company that is creating some of the coolest humanoid robots, Engine AI Robotics. They are developing next-generation robots that can move and interact in a remarkably human-like way. We are Engine AI, so we come from Shenzhen. We are a tech company, are doing human robotics, founded in 2023, October. Shenzhen, the futuristic city neighboring Hong Kong, has developed a complete robotics industry chain, from precision software to end-user applications with tens of thousands of related enterprises and an output value exceeding 200 billion yuan in 2024. Oh gosh, look at this. I'm right next to one of the craziest inventions. We were talking about robot, and according to this company, we're going to see more and more of these robots, perhaps even in our homes, starting from next year. I believe that uh, 2026, in the end of 2026, we are starting to see robots in the household to do some things. The company emphasizes embodied intelligence, moving beyond just a robot to machines that integrate perception, cognition, locomotion, and interaction in human spaces. The one that we bring today is a PM01. It's a 1.38 meter tall, 40 kilos on weight. Everything from the joints, the body, and the shape, also the algorithm on the coding for the motion control, everything's a war full stack design. I would really love to invest some money in one of these just to see what they can do. You can tell the shape of this robot really resembles the human shape and it can kind of behave, walk and interact as a human does. The PM01 stands about 1.38 meters tall and weighs approximately 40 kilograms, making it relatively compact for a humanoid robot and it's engineered to deliver fluid, human-like motion rather than stiff mechanical walking. We have a full stack capability to design different joints for the robots. So the joints are contribute 50% of the cost and also 50% in terms of weight. So that's why we can let the robots do a lot of the dancing and uh, walking very like human. And uh, there's a lot of uh, the engineer work efforts on that. Have more technology, AI, internet embedded on it, a few cameras to recognize, microphone speakers to make it look more like a human being. The robot features a high degree of freedom joint system, five degrees of freedom in each arm, six in each leg, plus enhanced mobility in the waist and neck giving it a very flexible body capable of natural gait, turn motions, and more dynamic movements. Fairs and exhibitions like these are happening all across China, showcasing the latest in technology, innovation, and creativity. If you'd like to experience them in person, check out China Business Gateway, a professional team dedicated to connecting Western companies with China's thriving business scene. From trade shows and factory visits to groundbreaking ideas and manufacturing opportunities, it's your gateway to doing business in China. Contact us through the link down below. We are the first one to make the robots actually work like human. So before us, it's like a, no matter that there's a US uh, human robotics company worldwide, they are all using banded leg and a small step. And we took a difference. So we think, okay, we don't want a human ride robotics uh, not like human. We want that they are completely working like human. They can walk in a long distance and also the long steps and uh, pretty much more like a human's uh, behaviors. Under the hood, the PM01 uses a dual chip architecture and it's built with an open source software stack, including ROS supporting and simulation tools. So researchers and developers can deploy or customize algorithm 
train models, and add sensors or other hardware modules. We give everybody open source. So when the customer buy this, they have a secondary development capability and that they can do some solutions based on what we provide. It's like an iPhone, right? When you get an iPhone, there's apps inside, people building apps and there's an ecosystem. So we think this is a really uh, like an ecosystem things. So it will be different like a commercial, industrial, patrol, entertainment. So maybe household, right? Or healthcare, a lot of different scenarios. But they all based on what we provide in terms of this hardware. But I think it's just crazy how fast the robotics has evolved. And these companies actually based in Shenzhen, one of the leading companies that is creating humanoid robots, not just humanoid, they're also making dogs and different kind of robots to interact with people. In terms of real world performance, the PM01 has demonstrated impressive walking speeds up to two meters per second in some reports, smooth transitions between movements and even front flip capability in demonstration videos which underscores how the company is targeting more than just static poses or simple walking. I think in the very, very soon future, the robots will have an app store. People from a different perspective, they can look at app store and say, okay, this is the application I want to deploy in my situation. So where I can buy the robots or I can connect to the tech company and to do the similar solution and the duplicate into my uh, scenario. What makes it especially interesting is a combination of its accessible price point and open ecosystem ambition by offering it in both a commercial edition and an educational edition. Engine AI signals its intent to open up humanoid robotics to researchers, labs, and possibly even smaller companies. I think the companionship is very important. So people will get talk with the robots, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, if there's a lonely economy, a lot of people talk about that. For example, if your kid want to study some Mandarin or Cantonese, your kid can talk with the robot every single day and play with the robot and say Chinese or different language, right? So that building an environment to like a totally different than the, than the like a humans to humans. The PM01 is positioned as a lightweight, high dynamics, open intelligence robot a platform designed not just for demonstration or toy level use, but as a serious development and research tool for humanoid robotics, combining strong hardware, flexible software, and extensible design. Well, I really can't wait to see how it's going to be the future of this industry. Perhaps we're gonna see even more in our homes. We're gonna see them helping elderly people with special needs, perhaps in restaurants, serving you a coffee. Uh, which actually were not that far from that scenario. Robots is going to be in everywhere. Like any industrial or the household situation, it's just a matter of time. The regulation and, the, and also the ecosystem now is a very fast building. A lot of people involved, especially for the coding, for the, the brain things, pretty much update daily. And the hardware now, we are catching up. How well built these robots are and how much technology they have embedded into their bodies and how many capabilities they have. I think what we're seeing right now is really the future of robotics and in the interaction of humans and machines. This is a very nice piece of technology made here in Shenzhen. I asked the company representative what could be a key differentiator in a future where, for example, robots are serving food and drinks, taking over the role of human servers. The attitude, they don't have a bad uh, temper, yeah. right? They're always yeah. a good attitude and the, yeah talk with the people with applied attitude, they don't give you a, a bad word, right? Oh, sure. So I think this way, the robots will be do something very interesting in the home. China today plays one of the most influential roles in the global development and production of AI-powered toys and smart companions, blending its strengths in manufacturing, robotics and artificial intelligence into a new generation of interactive products that go far beyond traditional playthings. How cute these small robots are becoming now. This is more like uh, for kids. It has a camera here so you can look at the people who's talking to him. Of course, it also have a few microphones embedded, but it has so many movements like the ears can move. The eyes are with a screen inside this small robot or small AI device. It perhaps has a few sensors all around and is reacting to the touching. 
when I pet him, move the ears, the eyes also, there is a light in front of it. It's becoming better and better because this integration of different AI models that allow them to interact with you. One of the key advantages of these toys is their ability to switch seamlessly between languages, even though they were originally developed for the Chinese market. How do you feel today? Mm, I feel super energized today. Like I could chat with you all day long. How about you? I feel very well. I would like to find a place to have a coffee. Do you know any good place that you can recommend around here? Oh, I'm not sure about the exact spots around here yet. But I've heard that cozy cafes with warm lights and soft music are usually great for coffee. Okay, you can recommend one of these places. If I had to pick, I'd say the Dreamy Bean is super cute and the vibe is so cozy like a little haven for coffee lovers. Do you know what is the capital of Canada? Mm, the capital of Canada is Ottawa. It's a city with lots of beautiful canals and cool historical buildings. That is really nice how far we've reached when it comes to AI and these small devices. This is actually one of the first ones I've seen that can interact in English and many other languages and have this connection directly to different AI models that can provide useful information. So imagine your kid at home interacting with one of these, asking questions about like for school, mathematics and learn languages can practice a lot of different skills using AI models. I think this is a very, very cool device for the learning process of kids. Later, I discover a different type of AI companion. These are Andy and Lily, two holographic figures enclosed in a capsule with a speaker. They also allow real-time interaction, but the way they respond is quite unique. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I'm Andy, who turns ordinary days into cotton candy dreams. So how can you make these regular days into so... so... Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I'm Lily, captain of the cheer squad, full of energy, warmth, and a big heart for lifting others up. Whether you're celebrating a win or just need a little boost, I'm here with a smile, a cheer, and always in your corner. I love meaningful chats, playful moments, and making every interaction feel special. So tell me, what's on your mind today? I don't feel very happy today. Can you tell me something to cheer me up? Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry you're not feeling happy today. Come here, virtual hug. Even on cloudy days, you're still shining, even if you can't see it right now. Let me tell you something. You're strong, you're kind, and you matter more than you know. And guess what? Tomorrow is a brand new chance to feel brighter. But until then, I'm right here cheering just for you. Want to hear a fun fact? Pandas sneeze in cute little squeaks. Scientists actually discovered that. Not what you'd expect, right? Nature is full of surprises. So basically we have here an AI assistant also embedded in a capsule, sort of. It has kind of like a hologram, but it's basically a speaker and uh, it's supposed to be like also an AI companion that can actually tell you things to cheer you up like I just asked her it's working but she tells like long stories like she's not gonna stop until you feel better but it's also a very cool invention that is integrating AI into small devices that can interact with people who might feel lonely I guess even on small devices like this super small computer with just a screen and a microphone integrated there's also one speaker here this is also a very powerful tool because it can actually interact with you, of course, connected to the internet and using an AI model to respond to your questions. Also, you kind of configure it through the phone. It can understand and interact in different languages like English, Japanese, and Chinese as well. But it's really cool to see how these super small, tiny devices can have such a powerful tool to interact with people. This event wasn't just about AI and robotics. Many companies were also showcasing eye-catching and creative new gadgets. So we have here very cool wireless chargers for all your devices. I think mostly for Apple devices. We have a cool one with the shape of a cyber truck. So in the top, that's the place where you're going to place your phone. I'll show you how. 
like this, right? Like any regular wireless charger. So when you put your phone in here, the lights of the Cybertruck will turn on just like that. But the cool thing is also here in the back, in the bed of the truck, you have a place for the earphones, for the earbuds. It is all touch sensitive. So if you touch here, another plate will come out for your watch. So you can charge all the three devices in a cyber truck shaped charger. So this one is a different shape, also has many touch sensitive controls. There you go. This part of the charger, you have a face. If you swipe it like this again, it will switch to the wireless charger for your phone. It also has a touch screen here. You have several controls. You have a clock, you have the menus. You can choose different languages. You have music. I don't think it has a camera, but I guess you can upload your pictures. Oh, you can also input the AC, micro SD card for music. And I guess this is for the watch. Yeah, it has uh, the plate for the Apple Watch as well. It's really impressive to see how far this screen technology has come. Yet you can display super high quality images like the phone. So probably this is like the one your phone is using. That is the reason why this technology is getting better. Phones are getting thinner because the technology behind the screen is of course improving. All this technology is actually designed and manufactured here in China. We can also see some robots are kind of testing or showing the durability of these phones and the screens. So basically they're submerging with a robot and another one in the bag is like hitting the phone once and again to prove and show the durability of these screens here. What I don't get really is why they need to bring the fish also. It's a fish tank. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you.